Hey readers, welcome back. Today's story is Playhouse by Robert Munch. One day, Renee went to her father and said, Please make me a playhouse. Our farm is way out in the middle of the woods, and I have nobody to play with except my little brothers. I need a playhouse. Good idea, said Renee's father, and he made her a wonderful playhouse. It had real windows and a slide and a ladder and an upstairs and a downstairs. It was almost like a real house, but not quite. The next day, Renee moved lots of stuff from her room into the new playhouse, and it was even more like a real house. Then she drew fish all over the walls of the playhouse, just like the ones on the wall of her real bedroom. Renee was happy for a whole week. Then she went to her mother and said, Is this a city playhouse or a farm playhouse? Well, Renee, said her mother, we live on a farm, so this must be a farm playhouse. Good, said Renee. If it's a farm playhouse, it needs a play barn. A play what, said her mother. A play barn, said Renee. I never heard of a play barn, said Renee's mother, but she was such a nice mother that she built Renee a play barn. It took her two weeks. Renee moved some hay and some chickens from the real barn into her play barn, and it was almost like a real barn, but not quite. Then Renee went to her father and said, I need a play cow. A play what? said her father. A play cow, said Renee. A farm playhouse needs a play barn, needs a play cow. I can't build a play cow, said Renee's father, and the play barn is not big enough for a real cow. No problem, said Renee. How about you give me a goat and paint it so it looks like a cow, and then I'll have a play cow. So Renee's father got her a goat and painted it so it looked like a cow. Renee put her play cow, which was really a goat, in the play barn, and she felt like she had a farm of her own, but not quite. Then Renee went to her father and said, my play farm is out in the middle of the woods, just like our real farm. So it needs the tractor and the bulldozer and the tree snipper and the log chopper. Why don't you just park them by my playhouse? And then you will not have to make me anything new. So her father parked the tractor and the bulldozer and the tree snipper and the log chopper beside the playhouse. And Renee played quite nicely for a whole month. Then Renee went to her mother and said, A farm playhouse needs a play barn, needs a play cow, needs a play tractor, needs a play mommy, and a play daddy. A play who and a play what, said her mother. A play mommy and a play daddy, said Renee. No, said Renee's mother. You already have a real mommy and a real daddy. You don't need a play mommy and a play daddy. The real ones are too bossy, said Renee. Ha! said her mom, mother. I am not going to make you a play mommy and a play daddy. So Renee cut out a cardboard play mommy and a cardboard play daddy and stuck them on the side of her playhouse. And while she was at it, she made two play brothers. I don't think her brothers are very happy about that. When Renee came in for dinner, there was a scarecrow sitting in her chair. What's that, said Renee. That, said her mother, is my play Renee. She is always nice and never bossy. You can eat play food out in the playhouse with your play mommy and your play daddy. Renee said, play Renee and I are going to go outside. Then the real Renee took play Renee and fed it to the play cow, which was really a goat. The goat ate all the clothes and all the straw, and soon Play Renee was completely gone. Then Renee walked into the kitchen and gave her mother a kiss. Was that a real kiss or a play kiss, said Renee's mother. That, said Renee, was a real kiss from a real bossy daughter for a real bossy mommy. Now I can have a real dinner with my real family. No problem, said her mother. I like real bossy kids. 
better than play kids anyway. And everyone had a real wonderful dinner. <laughs> the end. Thanks for reading Playhouse by Robert Munch with me today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.